the first thing that I really want to talk about is individuality and how thankfully it's almost becoming more like accepted now I feel like especially in Belfast a lot of people are starting to embrace their individuality and they are actually um, doing things to show it off and there are like um, more people are going out and wearing what they want more people are trying different things um, at the event yesterday I know I talked about the girl that had like the crazy red trousers on and summer he had blue lipstick on and just like little things like that that I feel um, am I too far away over here? I know I'm gonna stay over here. I might just zoom in. That I feel like are important um, for people to do. Like, you know, like if you want to wear blue lipstick, then wear blue lipstick. If you want to wear crazy trousers, then wear crazy trousers. Um, that was basically what I was saying. And the more I think about it, I feel like myself. I had to go through that where I was like, okay, I'm going to wear this because I want to wear it. I don't care what other people are going to say. I think it's cool. One of the biggest things I ever did um, in terms of wearing an outfit that I was scared to wear was when I wore my blue um, sparkly jeans. Um, no one had ever really wore anything like that that I had saw. You know, I'd never really even seen anyone in Belfast. So I was like, oh my goodness, if I wear these jeans, everyone's going to think I'm absolutely crazy. No one's going to get it. No one's going to like them the way I like them. So for me, that was probably like the first one of, one of the first times I was like, I'm wearing something that I absolutely love. Like thought I thought they were amazing, but I felt so nervous to go out in them. And whenever I thought about wearing them, because I thought other people wouldn't like them, I then started to not like them. And it wasn't that I didn't like them, it was that I didn't like them on myself. And I feel like that's something that a lot of people have to deal with when they are learning to kind of do what they want to do and wear what they want to wear. They start to worry about what other people think and then think that they can pull it off. I also know my friend Chloe, um, she has the most amazing body, um, it's so beautiful, literally like the definition of perfect and she has such an original style but sometimes she'll put something on and she'll love it and I'll be like yes girl slay and then 10 minutes before we go out she's like mm, no I need to change I need to just like put a t-shirt on or I just need to put like plain black jeans on um, and I'm like why like you were totally feeling yourself a minute ago and she'll just say you know um I don't know I just feel like I can't wear it or like I'm too nervous to wear it and hearing that is like not what I want to hear from a friend because I know how much she was feeling herself and then she just kind of like felt as if she couldn't do it because of what other people were going to think or what other people were going to say and unfortunately we live um, at a time where people are ignorant enough to feel as if they should be able to voice their negative opinions and they should be able to say like you shouldn't be wearing that or why are you wearing that it's ugly or like yeah you can give your opinion if you don't like something you don't have to, like you don't have to like everything I like that's not what I'm saying but people are people are too opinionated um, and think that they can just completely judge someone and bash someone and say well it's my opinion there's a difference between stating your opinion and completely tearing someone down and I feel like that's why a lot of people don't um, embrace their individuality and in, in, in which, in which, uh, ality? it's only it hard to say that um, people aren't embracing it because they are worried about the back what they're going to get back from it um, they're worried about what other people are going to say and so that's why I love when I see girls and boys going out and wearing the things that they want to wear and everyone has their own individual style so you know you might not be into a crazy look like jeans and a t-shirt might be your style and if you're going to go out in the jeans and t-shirts and slay it then that is fantastic I am there for you yes rock them jeans and t-shirt Yes, all day, every day. If you want to go out in a sparkly dress with bright pink lipstick on and high heels, do that. If you want to wear all black and, and studded earrings, do that. If you want to be a boy and wear your heels out, do that. If you want to be a boy and wear your makeup out, do that. If you want to be a girl and wear boy shorts, do that. Wear what you want to wear and dress and um, be the self that you want to be. Don't be your version of what everyone else wants. Be like your version of you that you want to be. Even if you feel like you're going to get that backlash, 
and you feel as if no one's going to support you, I want to be the one to tell you, and I said this yesterday, that if the whole world is against your opinion or against your decision to be yourself, remember you have at least one person there supporting you and that person is me. I will support every single one of my followers and subscribers and everyone that watches my videos or hears this message. I will support you in your decision to be yourself and to embrace what you want to do, embrace your style, embrace everything. Um, Um, I am there for anyone that feels as if they are different and they're scared to embrace their difference. Like difference is what makes us people. If we had no differences, we would all just be the same person. We would just have a world full of Sophias and no one wants a world full of Sophias. Difference is what makes us different people. Names don't make us different people. It's our looks, our personalities, our opinions, our styles. It's everything that is if everyone had the same opinions, if everyone had the same style, if everyone had, if everyone was the same, it wouldn't matter if I was called Sophia and she was called Rebecca and he was called Nick. That's not what makes us different people. What makes us different is having our own opinions, having our own styles, doing what we want to do. And that's what makes the world such an interesting place. And that's what makes people such interesting things. Knowing that it, every different person you meet will have a different opinion on a subject or will have a different um, things that they like is what makes the world so interesting and what makes the world so cool. I always say like, Crazy people are the best people. People that are different and want to voice their opinions and people that um, aren't scared to be themselves are the best people. And people that embrace other people are also the best people. I feel like, you know, you always hear like the, what is it, like girls supporting girls and boys supporting boys and girls supporting boys and everyone just kind of like, it when everyone... Where's my phone going? Oh, Louise is coming. When everyone just kind of um, accepts everybody, the world will be at that place where it's just fantastic. But unfortunately, that's not the way it is and we live at this time, like I said, where we just get told that we can't do things or certain things aren't right for our body. You know, like I might get told, you can't wear that, like, like your legs aren't skinny enough or like you don't have a big enough bum to wear that or stuff like that. And... Um, just being able to say, well, um, actually, it, it is on my body so I can wear it, um, is what makes it so powerful. Um, so this video was for me to say, you know, do what you want to do, wear what you want to wear, be who you want to be, and I will be there to support you. And I hope that the people that watch this, maybe someone will watch it that does judge people, and they maybe know that themselves, and it might be an insecurity thing. But um, for the people that do judge this and watch this, um, I know a lot of you will probably just be like, oh, oh my god, Sophia Mitchell's new video, did you see it? What's she even on about? Da -da 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 -da. I know a lot of you people will say that, but I hope at least one person watches this and kind of thinks hello okay one second bye Shannon can you get the door for Louise so yeah I hope like at least one of them people that watches this maybe says you know what like she's right um what, what does it matter to me if that person is being different? What does it matter to me if that person is feeling happy? You know, I never get the whole idea of people seeing people in the street and wearing something that they, they wouldn't wear themselves so maybe they don't think it's nice and you know, making a bad comment like because is that person wearing that thing really gonna affect you? Like is that gonna really have a big deal on the rest of your day? Probably not, but that comment that you just made to that person has probably tore them down. They're probably thinking, oh my god, I shouldn't have wore this. Oh, I, I knew I didn't want to wear this. Like, you don't know. Like, they could have, like, been a big deal for them to actually go out and wear whatever they were wearing. And for, so I'm just trying to say, like, for the people that do say these things to people hopefully you will start to kind of like think about it a bit more and think about what you're saying to people and their feelings um and for everyone that does want to be different and does want to do things 
their way then remember to just be yourself and if everyone else wants you to be someone else then just say you know what if you don't like me for who I am bye there's the door bye because if someone doesn't want you for you then nah not interested so yeah. End of this video. I hope I got my point across. I feel like I kind of mumbled a bit and just went on and on like I normally do. If you guys like my random videos and you want me to do some more, then remember to like this video. And remember, if you're new to watching my videos or if you just haven't did it yet, then make sure to subscribe because I will be so, so happy. Um, and also remember to comment down below any ideas you have for any videos or also comment down your opinion on everything that I just kind of said. Um, tell me if you agree. Tell me if you have anything kind of relatable to what I just said. And remember, I love you guys and I can't thank you all enough for your support i hope you're all loving the daily videos and i will be trying to do this as long as possible um but yeah i love you all so much bye